As the tensions between the DPRK and the United States heat up, a new accusation has come out about the country. According to Cho Sun Il Bo, there has been the accusation that people who were a part of Kim Jong Un's so-called pleasure squad have escaped the country. And basically, the claim is that there are a bunch of women, and they emphatically state some of them as young as 13 years old, are being kept as a personal harem to a lot of high-ranking officials, including Kim Jong Un himself. Now, according to the story, they've all managed to escape, and now they're telling their story to the entire world. Of course, as usual, there's really nothing to verify these claims whatsoever. There's nothing substantial there. And that we've heard, you know, wild accusations like this before, with frankly really nothing to back it up. I think we should also take into context the timing of the release of this information. Right when hostilities are at a near peak, and then all of a sudden this accusation comes out. I mean, this, is, this isn't a new thing. As soon as, you know, tensions get really hot between the two countries, all of a sudden some new outrageous accusation against the DPRK comes out. So, I mean, there, there is a, a historical significance. This, this is the thing that keeps happening over and over again. Well, here's another thing to keep in mind. The DPRK isn't showing any signs of backing down. They're saying straight up outright that they're willing to go all the way to the end in order to defend themselves. And this is uh, different in, from other times that they've made statements like this because now they really have the technical capability with nuclear weapons and ballistic missile technology to do some serious damage. So they really, really can go all the way to the end and really destroy, you know, a lot of the South, even, you know, West Coast United States or East Coast United States, sorry. So I, I think that's a thing to, to really keep in mind that this is part of the, um, a part of the general propaganda campaign against the North, because it's, again, it's one of those accusations that doesn't really have anything whatsoever to back it up. But it also comes out at a time when there's great tensions between the two countries. So as far as I'm concerned, this accusation is frankly complete and utter nonsense until something substantial has been brought forward. Because we've heard crazy accusations like this before, and they in turn had nothing to back them up. And sometimes they find out to be completely false, and some people even admitted to lying about them. So really, it's another one of those situations where, you know what? I'll believe it when there's some evidence to back it up. Thank you for watching. Why don't you go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media. And if you want, you can head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can head over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.